Hi, welcome to my channel, Judy's Losing It. My name's Judy, and I have been on a weight loss journey. This is week 13. Who knew? <laughs> I, uh, um, here's my stats. I had um, weight loss surgery uh, July 2nd, 2019 in Mexico. Um, and my weight day of surgery was um, 334. My pre-op weight was 355. And my high weight from uh, 2018, August of 2018, was 385. So um, I had lost 30 pounds on my own uh, before anything. And then um, on my pre-op diet, I lost 21 pounds. And today, very disappointed. Um, this is week 13 and I, oh my gosh, <laughs> I have all these notes. I didn't write down my weight. It's etched in my brain. <laughs> 293.5. I was in the 292s and I woke up this morning just sure I was going to have lost at least a pound. Maybe I was going to be out of the 290s altogether. Well, that didn't happen. I gained a pound. So for the week, I've lost 0.8 pounds. Yeah, disappointing. Uh, total since surgery, uh, 40, 40 and a half pounds. Um, total since pre-op, 61 and a half pounds. Uh, total since my high weight, uh, 91.5. Putting it that way, yeah, it's not bad. It's not great. I really hadn't thought I'd done that badly this week. Um, I hit water aerobics um, four times. I had my um, uh, physical therapy, which is now a workout session in and of itself. Uh, they've gotten me to a point where I can actually work out on the bicycle and, you know, all the various things. So, um, yeah, I really thought I had lost weight. So, um, you know, I, I was, I mean, there were a couple of days during the week, but I mean, it didn't show up daily. Um, it, kind of, you know, what ha I mean, I went over my calorie allotment of a thousand calories, which unfortunately I'm able to do way too easily. Um, but anyways, I had um, uh, only a couple of days of that. And, um, and it just was like staggering. I was staggering down, you know, I'd go down and then go up a little bit and then go, you know, and then go down again. And, um, and unfortunately, this morning, I went way up. Um, so, while it's disappointing, it's not the end of the world, it's still a little loss. It's just, it's just so early in the process that I am very concerned about what this means for the next, you know, nine months. Um, I, I got really excited. Um, I saw Dr. Matthew Weiner's, uh, uh, video on YouTube about his new book coming out. And so I bought it. I also, um, and I, I read it. Um, and I also, and I will have a review of the book. Um, but I do want to reread it again. Um, I just want through it really quickly one time. Um, having read it, I really wished I had had that book four months ago, five months ago, before I had surgery. Um, three years ago or so, <laughs> three and a half maybe, um, when I was looking at having a weight loss surgery done in Washington State, rather than going to Mexico, um, we were told that the weight loss differential between um, the sleeve and um, gastric bypass was really close. 
And um, I don't know, after reading a Dr. Weiner's book, I'm not sure. And then he also gave a link. Um, and this is what really has kind of scared me. Um, he gave gave a link um, on his YouTube channel, and I'll put it below. Uh, it's a Michigan Bariatric Surgery Collaborative. And I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it, they've opened it up to the public. And so I was able to put in my information with my surgery. And this was the outcomes calculator, what they were guessing um, would be my weight loss with the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And that was me starting at 334. They felt on their outcome that after one year I would be at 253 pounds, that I would lose 81 pounds in one year. The second year I would be at 249 and the third year I would be at 253 back up. So I felt like I've had a pretty modest goal, but um, but yeah, I'm concerned. I really am. I I know there are stalls. I understand this, but after reading his book, it was pretty clear that surgery reset your metabolical metabolic set point. So for the first six months to a year, maybe 18 months, that's where the body kicks in and says, hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be 200, but you're 300. So we're gonna make sure you don't feel hungry and we're gonna give you a lot of energy and we are going to work it, you know, help you work to make sure you get your weight down to 200. And um, but that that kind of switch is on a timer, and um, and so uh, you know it's harder for the surgery to work well. And so, well, I'm really happy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy that I've lost now over 40 pounds. Not not my almost there of last week, um, but. You know, I was really hoping in the next uh, three months to lose another 30 pounds. So uh, in the first six months to lose 70 pounds. And then I felt that hopefully in the next uh, six months after that, that if I could drop another, you know, 35 pounds, that would put me at about 100, 105 pounds lost in a year, which I thought was reasonable. And then with this outcomes calculator, Um, it was a little shocking. Um, I know when I had first talked to um, UW Med, which is where I was originally in the state of Washington, going to get weight loss surgery. Um, I had mentioned I, you know, and I was about 350 at the time that I wanted to get down to oh maybe 185. <laughs> and uh, the nurse practitioner was very careful to say that's probably not going to happen. So, you know, it's, you know, for me with going to Mexico, I, I really had a goal of reaching, you know, anywhere between 225 to 200, you know, in that, in that range. I mean, I felt like I needed to probably get down to 200 in order for, you know, there's always a bounce back. You always gain, you know, X amount of weight, you know, 10, 20, 30 pounds back. And, um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned for myself. And I really encourage anyone who's looking at having weight loss surgery to both get Dr. Weiner's book, um, and which I don't have the name of that, but I'll put that below too, and check out this um, outcomes calculator for bariatric surgery. Um, you know, just to give you a 
comparable of what it was saying if I had gotten the R and Y. Um, it said that I would have lost another 17 pounds. That's, that's over 20%, right? Ten percent would be eight. Yeah, twenty percent. And like I was saying at um, UW Med, the it, the difference between the two surgeries were quite negligible. I liked, and I still like, the sleeve in a variety of ways. To me, it's straightforward. They've just cut out a portion of your stomach. You're left with a small tube. Your intestines are all left in place. You're, you know, it's just, now you're not able to ever eat as much as you were before, which doesn't mean you can't gain it all back, but um, you have this tool. So that's what I was thinking. Um, and I, I've shared that my mother had bariatric surgery in the mid 60s and um, some time and um, the malabsorption she had with they just completely rearranged her intestines so this to me seemed a safer way to go uh, but at UW they were more talking maybe a 10% difference between the two surgeries uh, for weight lost and um, you know, I, when I do the review on the book, I will do more research and have more information here. But, um, but the RNY, they're saying if I had had the RNY um, at one year, they would put me at uh, 236 pounds, which would be a loss of 98. And that um, two years, uh, 225, 109 pounds lost. And at three years, 226, 108. So, yeah, it's a little sobering. Um, you know, granted, this is just medical world's best guess. You know, it's, it's nothing more or less than that. But, you know, it's my life. It's my body. And, um, and I don't want to have, I can't afford a revision. I can barely afford surgery to begin with. Um, so, so that's really not in my future and, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit bummed and I'm a little bit concerned. Um, I have, you know, since August, I think it was around August 26th, 25th, I weighed, uh, 299 pounds. I've been in the 290s now for over a month. And I'm not even close, you know, it's not like I'm 290.5, I'm 293.5. And I have three pounds to lose, three and a half pounds to lose before I start getting in the 280s. So yeah, I have lots to celebrate, but I'm a little bit concerned, I have to say. And, um, and the other question I have to ask um, I was talking to my brother about it, you know, if I end up at 253, will that have made the money, the surgery, all of this time and effort worth it? And I mean, in a lot of ways, yes. From my pre-op, that would put me at 100 pounds lost from my um, pre-op of 335, or 355, sorry, 355. And, um, and yes, in a lot of ways, but, you know, you just expect all this from the surgery too. And uh, so yeah, um, it's been an interesting few days. I'm just, I'm still trying to um, digest all of the information that I uh, read in the book by Dr. Weiner, whom I've always really liked on YouTube. I have thought he's given, you know, basically he's saying long-term, the best, chance anyone has of long-term success is to eat healthy 
and he has the pound of cure. So you're supposed to eat like a pound of um, vegetables a day, uh, plus moderate, um, oh, moderate protein, but you can have fruit, fruit, vegetables, nuts, and yogurt. So, um, you know, and I may end up giving that a try, um, but anyways, yeah, I wish I was coming with better news. <laughs> I did have a couple of uh, good things happen though. Um, I went for at least a quarter of a mile walk uh, twice uh, this past week and without any caffeine. So that's a huge step forward in my, I don't know, recovery, strengthening, I don't know exactly what to call it, but with my um, peripheral artery disease. <sighs> It's tough being 61. <laughs> it really is. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, yeah. The um, the cheese crisp things. I have a very hard time controlling myself around. So I've now learned that I need to limit my access to those things. Um, I made, um, oh, I did have an interesting uh, meal for lunch. I made um, turkey meatballs with um, pasta sauce. And, um, and it cut the calories in half. So that was, that was really good. Um, well, maybe not half, but, but for two, cal two uh, beef ones, they were 240 calories. And for two turkey ones, they were like 140 or something. I mean, a significant drop in calories. Same quantity, um, same flavor, mm, maybe not quite the same, but perfectly adequate. And uh, yeah, so I had a very nice low calorie lunch. And uh, anyways, happy about that. So anyways, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching. And um, I will be back with two things, actually. Uh, the first will be my three-month update, which is actually tomorrow. <sighs> if I can figure it out, I will try to add photos. Um, I, have been, I haven't been accurately taking photos, but on month one, I took a set of photos of me in my... Uh, um, Oh, not tights, but uh, all the skinny things you wear to work out, and um, a sports bra. So, um, so anyways, I will. I'm planning on taking those again tomorrow too. And I've been taking um, also a picture of my face and uh, putting them side by side to try and give myself hope and a feeling I'm going, getting somewhere. Anyways, take care, and we will talk again soon. Bye. Oh. Oh, and the other thing is <laughs> Space Cadet, um, the uh, <laughs> book review. I plan on rereading re it and highlighting it and coming back with a review of the book. So anyways, take care. Bye.